Warning, for this soap, I am using a fragrance I've never used before. Warning. Never use a fragrance in a large batch of soap if it doesn't have soap notes or reviews by people who have used it in soap. This is something I know, you should know, and we should all practice, but I didn't. So I'm gonna skip to the bad and the ugly on this one because why learn something other than this lesson? Don't use untested fragrances in large batches of soap. It's Bitter Creek Candle Supply Sagebrush and Pinion Leaf Fragrance Oil. Now it's skin safe to use up to 10.7%, but I would never ever use more than 7% absolute max because it can actually mess with the structure of your soap. So the problem with this is even though it's skin safe and it's safe to use in soap, there are no soap notes on the website, which means the company has not tested it in cold processed soap. They know how much is safe, they don't know what it will do to the soap. So. All right, I told you I had never used this fragrance before, and as you can see how yellow it is in the corner there, this looks like it is a indeed a discoloring fragrance oil. So, um, we're gonna slice into it, but I'm guessing that when we cut into it, the clouds will look white, but as they sit, they are going to turn yellow. But let's take a look and see if my design worked, even if my coloring is off. Yay! Okay, here we go. From the middle, let's see what we've got. Dun 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 Oh, look how beautiful it is, you guys. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And now it's gonna turn yellow. So if you see around the edge how yellow that is, so that is eventually going to work its way all through the bar and we're going to have a sickly green sky and yellow clouds. Well, that's a shame because the design turned out perfect for what I want. Um, I plan to cut these in half lengthwise so you'll get that image in each bar. Oh, I'm so sad it's gonna turn yellow. Now, a smart soaper would have made a small test batch before making this giant batch of bars and they would realize it would turn yellow and they would accommodate and make a design that accounts for that yellow. Um, but I'm just not that kind of soaper. I like to go in gung-ho. This is still perfectly usable soap. There's nothing wrong with the soap. It smells very much like woodsy desert smell. So the smell is great. I guess if I were to do it again, oh, we've got an air bubble there. If I were to do it again, I would instead just pick desert colors. You know, luckily desert colors are often yellow, so the design worked beautifully. I do have a single boulder slash mountain on each side. They are good palm size for a guest size soap. Oh, if only the discoloration didn't happen. But I can recommend the fragrance oil as far as not causing acceleration, giving you plenty of time to work. I can recommend it for the smell. I just cannot recommend it for the discoloration. But those are some beautiful bars. And maybe I'll recreate this design with a different fragrance oil, one that doesn't discolor someday. So here's what they look like now, completely yellowed. A Little bit of white left, but most of the clouds have gone yellow. The sky is just as green as the green below. Overall, a disappointment. I think this was a good, really good, physical, tangible lesson to me to test my fragrances first before jumping into a really big project that has a lot of hope and promise so that I don't get sad because I'm sad about this one. It was so cool. So I hope you've all learned my lesson, which is, see all those bars back there? I have a lot of bars of funky, ugly yellow soap. 
So test your fragrances before you use them in a big project.